Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am on the envelope path and so um, we are going to do some of those long envelope wraparounds. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, let me think, yes, I'm going to trim off the bit. Let's open this up. trim this off about there yes just thinking yeah and I'll get rid of that that's sticky let me just move my garbage bin over there you can see yes that'll be good and I need to trim off the messy bit at the top and then and we'll trim off the bottom so it will open out and also make it a bit shorter because they're usually too long and so that opens like that and we can also take that off there we go good so first I'll trim I think I might look here because that's all um, you know messy oh this is one of the curvy ones I like these oh that's a good one that's a different one I like that backing, so I'll do something different with this one. I'm going to trim this off. Because these make really cool tucks. So what I'm going to do, I think there's something secret in there. I'm just going to um, trim this bit off. Right there. And this is good as a side tuck. So I need to trim it down just a little bit. Because it's too long and I'll trim it more or less you know something similar off each end like so and then I don't like the pointy bits so I snip those off oh my garbage bins over there my garbage basket I should say and that will be I'll tidy that up that will be a side tuck so this I'll tidy this one up I love recycling envelopes um just you just as I said yesterday you have a nice um base to work with so this one actually you know what i'm going to do that as a wrap around but i'm going to do instead of leaving the long bit there like i normally do i'm going to trim this down and it's going to be kind of centered the window and that's going to go like that so a little tuck on one actually i could I could fold it a bit further. It doesn't matter that I've got a crease in it because um, I can, you know, it'll cover up when I collage on it. So that's what that's going to be. Oh, these are different envelopes. Let's see this one. Get a nice... Oh, I haven't seen that colour inside either. Let me bring my garbage basket over. Okay. Take that bit off. Okay, so trim this bit. Trim this. And that. You can see how you do the mass making process, which was introduced to us all by... Oh, I see, I'm going to leave that on there. Oh, no, I will have to take that off. It's got a little window. Oh, it's like a, you know, like you win something. I don't know. It's it's the telephone company. Okay. Took that off because that'll be hazardous. But I'll have to glue something over that because, it, look, it's a little poppy out window thing. I don't know. Or I could, you know, pop that out and put it. I could put a window in there. Anyway, we'll think about that. I haven't, I haven't actually noticed these ones before. I probably threw them out. And this one I'm going to trim like the other one. A little bit more. I don't mind the pink inside. I do not mind it at all. So that's those. And now we've got a... Oh, this is the gas. This one's very destroyed. What am I doing to wrap around? So this will be all right. I can trim off the messy bit.
Oh, I also wanted to show you. Just let's let's um just have a quick squeeze at my hoardy book because um oh who was I chatting with today? I can't think. Um, like through on um what's it called? Uh, YouTube. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, anyway, um, she asked me what's a hoardy book, and um. And so she obviously hasn't seen my hoardy book video. Take that off. And I just pull those bits off so I don't have to bother gluing them. There we go. So they're all prepared, ready to go. And I'm just going to... I've been gluing. So I've got my, my silicone thing and let's take the glue off. Way to procrastinate. Put that away. And empty out my little garbage basket. Okay, otherwise it gets annoying with all the stuff in it. Oh, wait, I want to put this in there and then put that in my garbage. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, put this over here. I love having that just right there where it's so easy to grab. And my hoardy book. Here it comes, and it is a joy to look at. I can tell you that. Oopsie. Oh, I fell over. <laughs> it's all right. I fell into my chair. Okay. So this is my hoardy book. I haven't decorated the front. There may be something that I'm going to I come across that I'm going to decide I want to put it there. Um, but look at this. Isn't this? Oh, I just love looking at it. And that's all because of you, Pam. And... Um, Yes, I put bits and pieces that I want to remember. I loved making these. We need to make some more of those. They're fun. Um, and the mark making tags with the very simple, they were the, um, our tags that we did. And then just how I was doing a video, how to personalize them a little bit, put little marks, a little bit of painted paper on there. And then in the hoardy book, I put all pages that I was hoarding um, that I have scanned. And this was from Amity. Because I and I put one of these lovely pockets that Steffi did, and it um, the one that folds over. Let me just show you which one. I know I've got it here somewhere. This one. It's the different pattern one, but this one that has these, you can glue them in and make a nice loose pocket. I must remember that. You see, I forgot about that. Nice pocket that you can fit lots of things. It's almost like having, you know, a gusset. And these I got. Um, Amity was very kind and sent me her beautiful. Um, uh, what are they called? Washi tapes. She has um, Amity. Um, oh, I don't know if any. I haven't seen. I haven't seen Amity for a little while on YouTube. Um, I reckon she's busy because she said she had another collection coming out of those. So she's probably busy doing that. And that was just interesting to keep. Just see, I'd already forgotten about that. So my hoardy book is where I, I put favorite um, book pages in. And then favourite things that I've made to remind myself about them. So I just clipped that on there. Um, just made a vellum pocket there with some of Amity's tape. And then this was one of these wonderful things. This was inspired by Sharon Hearth and put all these fun things. We need to make more of those. They're wonderful. And I hoard them, so I need to make more so I don't hoard them. And then put this beautiful piece of paper there. You see, I've forgotten about Amity's tapes ever since I moved because I put everything in this place and then they don't always pull everything out. So I love that. That's just inspiring to see that. Um, and then this, this is one of those, but it's a curvy one, see? And we paint, do you remember we painted it and put some painted foshi and see, so that's one of those. Oh, this one I didn't snip the corners off. I don't like those. Just put it, if I fold it over like this, I can get them both. I'll cut them both together. There we go. So that's one of those, but a shorter one. And then this was, oh, I need to do more of these. These were those uh, inspired by the samplers that I did, the old fabric samplers. And I love that. It's so simple. I must do some more of those. So this is what I'm keeping my hoardy book for. Beautiful things that I, you know, that I scan and I don't want to, I wanted to keep and then I put one of these tags in there that was the that was the fast flow collaboration we did last year 
and I did those um, tags. And then, have I put anything in there? No, I haven't. But on here, I'm hoarding this. Like this is no, this is something to remember. That's quite complex to make. That's that transparent um, tape with all the stamping on it that needs to be revisited because we've probably all forgotten that I have. And then this is one of these. I like these. This is just with the folded over book page and you leave a little bit out and fold it over and, and make a flip and then make a pocket. They're really cool. I have to make more of those. And so yeah, just on these pages, I'm just going to randomly be attaching. There's the wrap around. I love those. And then these are the, um, I love that, the class three things, but that's made with um, a digital. with a little belly band I love that and then these belly bands are cool because you can glue them down onto a page and then it can house things in it what else have we put in that's a envelope flippy thing those can be quite stiff sometimes so I don't know what this is um this is one of the envelopes done by Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda and you untie it so it's a covered envelope and then in, in the flap are stapled some journal pages. That's a really cool idea. That's an envelope that actually, that's an envelope. That's not a covered envelope. That's an envelope I made. And then you um, close it down there and then, or wherever, and then you can make it a top tuck. It's a pocket there. And then there's pages, aren't they cool? And then they glue down onto the page and you can put some baker's twine and they tie up so they don't flap about everywhere. They're not flappers. So I love those. That's Tina's wonderful creation. Um, and then, you know, just 40 pages, 40 things. Um, and I haven't put any more in there, so I need to. This one has a lot of signatures in it. A lot of hoarding stuff here. This is one of those book jackets that was in the pile of documents that I got from the dealer man when he contacted me. And um, and they covered their books in the documents. I guess, you know, we, one lady said to me, we do the crazy things with the papers, don't we? So they did then too. They were recycling. They recycled. This looks like it was some sort of accounting pages. Um, and this is one of the falling apart letters from the 1870s. And lovely image, horrible painting that I did. But you know, you can recuperate everything. Um... Yeah, just bits and pieces so that I have a collection of them as well because I'm always, you know, selling them on. So that's my hoardy book. So if I make anything, well, I probably need to go through. I've got stuff that I'm hoarding in my box there and I probably should go through and start putting some more in here. Um, so that's a hoardy book. And I have a video. I'll try to remember. Um, I have a video um, making those. So, um, yes, we can... I'll link that in the description box. If I forget, just remind me. Okay, let's work on these three. These are the ones that I said you glue on both sides. So these, this one's probably a bit tall, um, but you glue on both sides. So one side has a window and the other side is just a side tuck. And I showed you that in um, Barb's journal, I think. I'm pretty sure. Now, where's my glue book? There it is. Got my papers down there okay so let's i've got these i see i've got uh, this these strips are just so useful they really are the most useful things ever now i don't know if it's going to fit on there so we'll use it there for sure grab my glue we did talk about the glue yesterday why do i switcheroo my glues and um, i did explain that yesterday okay so now it's time to get sticky. Oh my goodness. And I just got chatting away and did not um, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. And ask you, how are you all? I hope everyone is well. Just happy to be in here. It's a bit later in the afternoon. And um, I was doing other stuff today this morning and got distracted so i didn't get in here until now i think i'll wrap it around that way um but i wanted to get a video done today i just i need to have a little session in here so um 
the day is not complete without a session making some things, even if it's just for a few minutes. But I, and I have been in here all day, not all day, all morning I was doing stuff, but um, not, not the video. So I think this weekend, probably Monday, I'll publish my video making my fabric cluster. I might make a fabric cluster and a tab. How about that? You can do both. You don't have to just do one. You can do two. Two is better than one. And we need another piece. Oh, this piece will be nice. Lovely. And I'm wrapping around that way. So I'm just going to leave it a little bit longer. I didn't leave the other the first one longer. And that way I can wrap it around. Okay, so that's done. And that's to me is one that that's one of the hardest bits and the other hardest bit is this narrow bit here. So this is going to fit on there. I might use this bit up here. Now, if you hear noise, that's my my dear husband. Um, we just went and picked up our stools. We've got bar stools, just two. We've got a bench like an L coming out the side of our kitchen because we knocked down a wall, two walls. Um, and so we had ordered stools for the bench on the outer side of the kitchen. So if you know what I mean there. And, um, and they arrived today. So we went and picked them up and we put them there. And we had a coffee and a chockey together and sat there and enjoyed it. And Lulu's super excited because she's been, she said that's where she wants to have breakfast every morning. And so anyway... Um, what I wanted to tell you was that we have invited our cabinet maker, but they're also very good friends of ours um, that we've known pretty much since I moved here from Australia because she used to work, um, she's an architect, um, we're surrounded by architects including my husband, um, but she she left the company, she didn't, like, like Steffi never worked with her, but she... Um, worked at the company where he worked he's been working um every, pretty much ever since we moved here um she had already left but she's very good friends with another friend of ours my what i call my fair weather friend because i never see her although i do you know i do care for her and wish her happy birthday and i'd see her husband because he's my accountant or our accountant i should say he looks after us and um and um anyway they so we met her through them and um and so they're very, they're lovely people, and he's the one that's made a lot of our custom furniture that we had to have made. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to fit properly in our apartment. And um, and so we've got them coming over for an uh, we call it a peri cena, so a peritivo dinner. So a, a, what would you call it? So they now they've got you've got brunch, breakfast, lunch. You've got dinner, lunch, dinner. I've heard. Someone said that. Um, and you've got, what do you call an aperitivo dinner? Because in Italian you call it aperitina. But what do you call it in English? Who can tell me? Um, so they are coming over and they were really thrilled. Because I'm sure, you know, um, well, he, Luca has seen obviously the place because he put it, installed it all. And I mean, literally there's stuff that they've done in every single room, except for my craft room, because that's mostly Ikea. Hooray. Um, but you know, that's all I need. I love my Ikea desk. It's great. And my drawers. And I've got my little antique table and all the rest is Ikea. I don't need anything like that any more than that. It needs to be functional. Although he would have made it very functional. Actually, if, if Luca had made it for me and Steph had designed it, it'd be even better. But... Um, was I, I was putting this one over here. I switched. Um, it would be even better, but it would have cost us a, a lot more. So um, we decided to do the IKEA. You know, one day down the track, if I'm feeling, you know, that I can afford it, I might ask him to do 
custom cupboards and stuff that would be probably even better than what I've got now but you know that's down the road when I get over the expense of <laughs> our renovation so yep yeah, they're coming for a petty a petty china and um, yeah, we're really excited about it so so Steph is very kind and cleaning while I'm in here doing a video for you guys which I think is lovely and um, and then we've got you know we've gone tidy up well we're not very messy now but that's the thing like my mother-in-law keeps coming over she's like well before we moved back in she said to me because we're so messy and she said to me you're going to have to have a cleaning lady you can't you can't have the, your nice place and then be so messy like you were before but we were messy before because i just gave up because the place was old and grungy and i just never felt like even if I cleaned, I'm not a very good cleaner and, and, and when I cleaned, it just still felt dirty. So I just didn't bother. I just, I just give up. I'm just not a very good cleaner. And so anyway, she was convinced I had to have a cleaning lady. But now she keeps coming over and she's like, where's the mess? <laughs> I'm like, well, everything's put away. It's all tidy. Every, it's so easy to keep clean. Now I've got to find some things to go around the edge here. It's very easy to keep the place tidy now because um, everything's, you know, got a space, a place. So um, I said to her, let's see how we go. Let's see, you know, how I maintain, am I able to maintain it? If I can't maintain it, I'll have to, if I'm a total vagabond, I'll have to get a cleaning lady, but I might be able to manage it. I'm going to take a little strip off because I'll probably put, cover that up on the other side but I am going to wrap it around the corner now did I have one of these in my hoardy book I don't know I need to put one in there don't I I do and I think I'm going to slide this one up I don't like everything being level I like you know different levels so I slide that up there and wrap it around there so I don't have a white edge and that's actually that's going to be on the edge of the page so um you know, if, even if it's a little bit more chunky, it's not going to cause too many issues. Now, let me see what else I can... Oh, where's my other... I've got lots of papers here. I don't know why I'm faffing about so much. Let's bring them up up to the table. Put my... I'll put my little thing here. Put this over here. This is what I want. I've got all these nice things to play with. So... They're pretty narrow, those ones. Oh, but that's so pretty. So my brother's in Western Australia, my older brother. He's visiting Margaret River and keeps sending us plates of lovely looking food and things. And it looks like you're having rough weather over there, guys, in Western Australia. It's been cold and rainy and and windy and the the he's been on the beaches and it's been blowing a gal it is winter over there um and um oh we went to some place i don't know where oh my he said it was margaret river so there's a road called roxborough roxborough road so he was very excited he sent us a photograph because that's our last name <laughs> don't know if it's a relative or not probably not There's quite a few. Um, they're not all. We're not all related. Okay, so that's that. I like that, and I might put the other piece over there. Let's. See. Oh, I think that window looks taller. I don't think this piece will fit there. I need a longer bit. I need a longer bit, so I'll put that in my little stash there of things that I can use. And, no. I just want to see, I've got long, I like long scripty bits. So let's see what I've got in here. Oh, how did that get in there? That's, I like, see, I like things like that. I've been really enjoying little things like that. Oh, I put that. Oh, what a goose. I put that on there. Oh, well, that's okay. You could write on top of that. So I put that in my journaling, journaling card. That's a nice little thing to put in a little envelope or something. 
I don't know how it ended up in there. This is my yummy um, ephemera thing. I'm going to print out more. I start to feel like I'm getting low. I know I've got heaps in here, but I start to feel like it's getting low and I need to have more in there. I could use that piece. I've, got to, I've used that piece so many times. Okay, let's do that. We won't waste any time. Let's just give it a little ripper. Yeah. Oh, in the Aussie, you say, you little ripper means um, you're unreal. Yeah, unreal banana peel. Not quite as good as Leslie's. Happy, happy, what is it? Oh, happy as a pig in poop. I love that one. I, I keep saying pig in mud, but it's actually, she said poop. She did, she said it. It really does describe it, doesn't it? I won't, it'll take me a while to get over that one. So sorry if I keep repeating it, but I just have to get over it because I liked it so much. That's Leslie from 507 Willow House Journals. And Wendy, you won. I've, I didn't even, I'm so behind in my videos. And then I watch, I put them in my watch list. And then, then what happens is I, I'll watch the newest one because then they're, in, you know, in order of the newest one first. And so then I don't see the oldest one. And then, and then I missed out on um, Leslie's giveaway. And the lovely Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures actually won Leslie's giveaway. Lucky duck. So I watched Wendy's video. I don't want to chop their heads off, do I? Um, where she um, showed Leslie's beautiful work. Oh. Now that's going to be nice. I like these papers. Do you know why I like them? Because these are some of my my own scanned antique mattress tickings, and I love them. Now we're going to do the two glue here because I don't I don't want to go on my sticky glue book. I could change the page, but I don't feel like it. So here we go. See, now I've got that lovely bit there. I'll just put a strip of something down there. And I could I could put a strip of... I've got a few strips. Let me see if I've got one wide enough. I've um, just printed out um, tea dyed paper. And one of those could be good. Or I know I've got some wide bits of actual old paper. Just, yeah. Oh, actually, this was that book... 17 the year 1789 but the books from 1891 there you go remember oh and i thought that lovely lovely oh, which saint is that you see i don't remember all of my saints i did have a i think i told you i had a i must have it at my dad's place um a saint book because when i was studying um fine arts in florence i um I had to know all the saints and and you know they've got symbols the you know in the catholic religion the saints have all symbols in the paintings and so then you can identify them like i just remember um santo stefano he had um rocks like little balls on his head i don't know oh, you can't see my head but little balls on his head um little white balls they look like pom-poms but they're rocks because he he was marked it's about how they were martyred it's not very nice um, like he was stoned to death. So that's how he's represented in the paintings. And then um, St. Sebastian, he has arrows. I can't, I can't remember everything. It's been many years. I'm old now. I, I was in my early 20s. So, you know, the memory is not working that well. But anyway, now I don't, it's not quite tall enough, but we can put something else there. And that's all the fun of it. Make it, oops, oops, slide, slide. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Um, yeah, so we said um, St. Sebastian, he was arrowed to death. So he's got arrows. Um, oh, no. Well, it was better before. Well, 
I'll trim a bit off. That's what I'll do. I'll solve that problem. Um, and let me think who else. Oh, Santa Lucia. That's St. Lucy. Um, her, and they all have their own saint day where they celebrate them. And say, I know St. Lucy is Santa Lucia. She is uh, the 8th of December. And she's she has... She's quite gross. She has her eyes on a plate. She Her eyes were gouged out. Yeah, it's quite horrific stories, isn't it? Um, that's how she became martyred. And, um, oh, and St. Peter. Well, he's not by how he's, he's not martyred. He, he has the keys to the Vatican, to the gates of the Vatican. And I'm going to trim that off. I can't, if I think of anybody else, I'll tell you. I can't remember. That. Oh, St. John the Baptist. He had... He's always wearing the animal fur outfit. Um, and so was Mary Magdalene. She's always very fr um, thin and frail and wearing some sort of animal fur. Um, who else can I think of? Who was the one on the the one on the grate? There was one that was burnt on the grate, and he's always holding a grate. Poor man, um, <laughs> telling you terrible stories. I don't want to put those there. Let's get a nice paper. Um, so that one's really done. So then all I need to do is my little snippy. Here, more or less. It's a more or less business. I tell you that all the time. And so they're going to go on the edge of the page. Like so. Isn't that pretty? And then tuck on that side. That's how that works. Or... You could just glue around the three sides of this and don't do that. Um, and this could just have plain paper and it could flip out. You can do all kinds of things. The possibilities are endless. Now, I need to move my chair forward. Oh, okay, that's procrastination at its best. Okay, so put that there. Oh, I have this image, but it's not quite... That's quite pretty there. I quite like that. So what could I put under it? I need to just patch it up a little bit. So I think I would put some book page. This book page is a little bit too torn. It doesn't quite fit, so I need to get another one. Oh, oh not that one. I'll just grab another one. This will do. It's a nice piece. I'll grab this one here. So I'm going to tear this. I'll tear off a bit more. Actually, I'll tear it down here. How how high can, do I need? Oh, I need to. Well, I don't need to cover that. Take that one off. So sure. Go to there. Yeah, I don't know which one that is. Hmm. I don't know them all. When I was a tour guide, <laughs> this little kid said to me, there was like, mul there are multiple saints around the baptistry in Florence. And he, and I know some of them, obviously. There's I know there's St. John the Baptist. And um, and I think, I can't, and I'm sure there's St. Peter. He's always there. Um, and this little kid said, and who's that one? <laughs> I'm like, well, there are thousands. So, um, you know, I would just... just when I couldn't know everything, um, so I would just, um, you know, start going on about how the saints had symbols and this one, and just sort of deflect <laughs> from the question. So it sort of, um, it sounded like I was asking, answering the question, but I wasn't. I became very good at doing that because I didn't, I couldn't know everything, absolutely everything. I just couldn't. It's not possible. Well, some people can. I couldn't. I might wrap that round. Why not wrap it round? I'm going to get sticky scissors. And now that I just need to trim that bit off. It's just like the, you know, the family stems on the buildings, on the Renaissance palaces um, that aren't those. In it. Some of them are museums now, some of them aren't. Um, but they, you know, they would, each family would have their family stem. And, um, and of course, some of, you know, the, the Medici's had the six balls on them. Um, and you see those every. I mean, they're even here in this area. They're everywhere. And um, but you couldn't know all of them. And people would say, "Oh, who's who's is this one?" And they weren't. You know, not everybody was. Not every family was famous. You know, you know, you couldn't know everyone. You just couldn't. 
Now I wanted to put, I've got all these off cuts from making those journals of the Italian ladies and I really would like to, to use them. So what I'm going to do is just tear it down. I'm just going to put them on. She's going to, her hand's going to disappear. Oh, maybe it won't. Or maybe, well, it is going to disappear anyway. It's not wide enough. So I'm going to glue it on and wrap it round. And then I need to put this on. Actually, I was going to wrap, was that going to work? Because I was going to wrap that round. So if I put that there, and I put that there, and can I have that wrap around? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, forget that. I wanted to use that, but I can't. So let me see. I do have plain ones. Let's see if I like this one. So this one I can even keep a little bit there. A little bit there. If you're going to do a wraparound sort of thing, you need to just check. And I do like that. That's going to work. Okay, so let's see where do I need to, well I'll just trim it off at the top but I don't want to have the whole width of it because that little strip I know I'm annoying but that little strip is useful can be useful hopefully I don't tear off too much and have to do some patching okay so let's get some glue on here I hope this is not tiresome for you guys, but I do so enjoy doing these sorts of things. I really, they're really one of my favorite things to do is play around with these things and make some fun little bits and pieces out of them. I'm gonna put it more up. Oh gosh, what a ding -a ling -a. Excuse me. I'm my own worst critic, don't worry. gracious me there we go I can do it I can do it I can I can right and I need to trim off the bottom excuse me envelope you're in my way I don't appreciate it Okay, so that's that. Love, oh. oh my goodness, and I proceeded to put it on upside down. Well, you know what? Tough, tough. <laughs> Does anyone in Australia remember that when you were little? And they'd say tough, like too bad. And they'd also say tough, T-E's. <laughs> okay, I'll say it, tough titties. We used to say that. Did anybody else say that in any other country? Did you say, like, you know, when you're little, um, when you wanted to say too bad, tough, or tough titties? Just came into my mind. I had completely forgotten about that. Not that it's anything of any importance, but it's just a memory. Tell that one to Lulu. I don't think I've ever said that to Lulu, tough. I wouldn't say that so much to Lulu, you know. If she's upset about something, I, I probably wouldn't end up saying to her tough. I'd, you know, be feeling bad for her trying to make her feel better. But, you know, maybe, a, a, you know, a sibling or someone like that might say tough or yeah. someone in your school or someone who's not being kind. There we go. That one's done. And that is upside down. So to, to detract from the upside downness, what I might do is put all kinds of things down here. What I might do is stick some sort of label on there up here just to detract from it being so upside down. It will stay upside down even if I stick a label on. I like that. Um, but it just, it's, it, it's a distraction. Well, in my mind it is. Someone like me, you know, flipping through something, I wouldn't even notice. But, you know, there are people who know, like my husband, 
he, he has walked around our place and he can see every defect. I mean, because it's not perfect. We wish it was, but it's not. And he, I mean, <laughs> so the floor people who made us very upset, they, you know, um, they, they're very quick to ask for money. Um, and so, so because there's some things that they need to, needed to fix and they weren't coming and they told us they weren't going to come until September. Um, but they did, they did manage to send out their invoice, um, their final invoice. We've already paid a bit of it. Um, and, and so Steph replied, sending them all of the horrible defects that there were around the door in the bathroom. And, and he sent them to me as well. And I'm like, where are those? Where's that? <laughs> I hadn't even seen it. Where's my other one? I hadn't even seen it. I couldn't believe it. He was laughing. He's like, you don't see anything. I'm like, I know. He said, you're so lucky. <laughs> I said, well, it all looks wonderful to me. That's nice, isn't it? Nice. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't know he had to tell me where they were. I'm like, oh gosh. And I said, your photos look worse than it actually does in true life. And anyway, the next day they sent the guy around and he's fixed it. So now we'll have to pay them. But I think Steph's going to make them wait because they were very unkind to us. He's going to make them wait a little bit and stew on it. So he usually sends me off to the because we pay them at the post office and um, we do because we have our account at the post office um and he usually sends me off to do the paying of things i'm going to wrap that round i love that i'm going to do a bit of patchwork on the back so i need to trim it and yeah don't like it's not or you got to glue these down while it's there, like with the thing open, and then wait for it to dry. Or you glue it while it's shut, and then wait for it to dry. Don't open it because you'll get a little ridge because the paper moves because it's not fully stuck yet. Okay, so that's that. And I did want to put this fellow on. I keep calling him a fellow because I can't remember who he is. Let me just tear it down a little bit and see. He has been floating around in my box for a while and he needs to find a home. Oh, the bad ripping, bad cutting. We're not doing too well today. I'll just tear it like so and then, oh, excuse me, that could be very crooked. Rachel, you are the pits. The absolute pits. Okay. So that's that. If I put that there, do I like that? No, I don't want to cover all of that up, but I could take a bit off the top. Do I like that? No, I don't. I'll put that somewhere else. Put some ladies up there. She's going to lose a hand. Let's see if we've got a lady that won't. Oh, this lady. She could do well up there. Oh, yes, that could work. Let's tear her. I'm going to tear it there. Don't be afraid to tear down your papers. You can print them out again if you make a boo-boo. And I'm going to put her up there. I want to tear that off as well. Crooked, of course. Of course. And I'm just going to tear it, oopsie, a little bit off. And then I can trim the excess. Oh, that could go. Oh, that is perfect. That could go there. Is, can you tell that it came off there? You can. Oh, I don't like that. So I could grab something like that. That would do the job. Okay. I better change my glue paper. It's getting very sticky. I'll bring it over here so you can see me glue.
Oops, and I've run out of boot. So Lulu stayed out last night at her friend's place around the corner and with her other best friends. And um, so um, we're very good friends with one of her, well, or most of her friend's parents. Um, and that's who we're going away with. Oh my God, and the drama rama is already going to be happening because um, the unfriendly one, the one that always told me I had the ugliest feet in the world and um, told me that I was so white that he couldn't look at me that I needed to get in the sun. You know that guy? Do you remember, guys? Well, that's who we're going away with. So I'm kind of in, in fibrillation about the whole thing. And Steffi's like, you know, you're going to have to go with the punches. You're gonna, I'm going to remind you to stay calm and relax. And anyway, he's already started. He's already got the other couple going and upset. And anyway, it's going to be interesting. We're just, we had a, a discussion that we have to keep ourselves calm and just uh, put our foot down. If we don't want to do what you know we don't want to go and beach ourselves um because we're pale <laughs> don't want to get end up in hospital with sunstroke um so yes it's going to be interesting guys anyway oh anyway i was telling you last night they messaged us because the girls were out at um out there our other friends they the 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 organizers place shall we say um staying you know for a sleepover and they said, do you want to go Who want to go to town, have a drink? Go into ta Santa Cangelo and have a drink. And we're like, of course, we're always up for that. And there's this place. It's a new place. It's a beautiful courtyard. Um, it was for sale. You couldn't see in there. And um, just this big, beautiful wall. Oh, no, that's two labels, isn't it? it was the, It's this big, beautiful wall. And you couldn't see in there. And it said it was for sale. And anyway, um, this very well-known restaurant... Um, has purchased it obviously and uh and they've opened um a place that you can go and have drink and and light meals and um so we met them and we went there and it was just lovely and they has this the biggest fig tree you've ever seen right in the middle it's really nice and the bar is built around the base of the fig tree it's really cool really nice place so anyone who comes to my town who's coming on the textile tour you'll be able to go there if it's open oh it's may it should be open um anyway there we go finished and I'm going to go and help Steffi get organised now because he's waiting for... Oh, I probably need something on this one. But I, as I say, have said before, um, so you can put them on that side or that side, whichever. Um, I sometimes wait to finish off decorating anything um, to see what's happening around it. And that's the, the mistake. See, boo-boos happen all the time. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so they're window envelope side tucks. Page wrap around side tucks, very complex, um, but super fun and um, yep, good way to recycle. So have a great Friday and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.